What's up guys, it's Jess, and today I am doing my everyday makeup routine. If you guys want to see how I got this look, then keep watching. First off, I always tie up my hair before I do my makeup. I like to keep my hair out of my face when I'm doing my makeup because, I don't know, I don't like to get hair in my makeup and makeup in my hair. It just gets all bad. Now that my hair is up, I'm going to be using the Rimmel London Lasting Finish Primer, and I'm just going to dot this all over my face and lightly rub it in with my fingertips. Now I'm going to wait one minute because I like to give my skin a chance to soak up all the primer and fill in all my pores. Now for foundation, I'm using the Revlon Airbrush Effect Foundation mixed with the L'Oreal Cover Match Foundation and all my shades and information will be down below. So I just mix these two foundations together, dot it all over my face and then blend it in with a wet beauty blender. Next, I'm applying Rimmel London's Match Perfection Concealer under my eyes because your girl has some pretty deep, dark eye bags. I always apply my concealer in a triangular shape under my eyes because in one of the first makeup tutorials I ever watched by Candy Johnson, I learned that applying your concealer in a triangular shape under your eyes gives your under eye circles a much more lifted appearance and makes them seem less sunken in. Now I'm just going to pat in my concealer with my Beauty Blender. Next, I'm using the Wet n Wild Stick Concealer. I'm applying that right at the bottom of my under eye circles. I'm applying that in the center of my forehead, on my cheeks, and on any other spots and imperfections. And now once again, I just blend it all in using my patting motion. Now I'm going to apply some loose powder. I am using the e.l.f. Translucent Powder mixed with CoverGirl's True Blend Mineral Powder. I'm just going to mix a small amount together and apply the loose powder on my under eye circles and on any other oil prone parts of my face. So the oiliest parts of my face are my chin and my T-zone. Now I'm going to apply pressed powder to the rest of my face to mattify everything. I'm applying the Fit Me Pressed Powder in the shade 220 and I'm using my fluffy brush from Real Techniques to apply this all over my face. Next I'm using the Fit Me Pressed Powder in the shade 222 for my contour. I've actually found recently that I really like contouring with just a slightly darker shade than the powder that I use. Now I'm applying my current favorite blush and this is the L'Oreal True Match Blush. Once again, I'm using my fluffy brush and I am just blending out my blush into my contour and my contour into my blush so everything looks nice and blended out. Next, I'm using Maybelline's Brow Drama Brow Mascara and I have actually been loving this. It is so easy, it is so quick, and it gives your brows like a nice natural look. Now because I stayed up super late last night and did not get very much sleep, my under eye circles are a lot more prominent than usual. So I'm just applying a little bit more loose powder under my eyes to brighten under my eyes just a little bit more. Next I'm using one of my absolute favorite products in the world. It is the NYC Black Liquid Liner. And the way I do it is first I apply a very thin line to my upper lash line. Now after I have the straight line on my upper lash line, I'm going to start creating the wing. So what I do is I go to the end of the line on my outer corner of my eye and I draw a straight line angling towards where my eyebrow ends. I connect the two lines and fill in the middle. Now I'm just doing the same with the other side, but I'm keeping this clip in because I feel like it kind of shows you a better angle of what I'm doing. After I apply my liner, I just wipe off any excess liner that may have gotten on my lashes because if I leave that there, my mascara just turns out really chunky and kind of crusty looking and it's just not cute. After I do that, I curl my lashes after I curl one side, I apply mascara, and the mascara that I've chosen to wear today is CoverGirl's Lash Blast, and I really like the brush on this mascara. I think it's the perfect brush to get really long looking eyelashes. Now I just do the same to the other side. After I've applied my mascara, I move on to my lips. I'm starting off my lips by moisturizing with Glossier's Lip Balm. Now today I've chosen to use this kind of lip pencil from NARS. Typically I don't use this. My go-to lip product is Teddy Bear by Milani. 
After that, I'm using NYX's Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Stockholm. And the final step of my makeup routine today, which I don't always do, but if I am filming, I do this step. I'm applying one last layer of loose powder all over my face just to kind of set everything. And that is it for my everyday makeup routine. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye!